Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday evening. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll get started with uh, part two of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Let me move on over here. Um, so where we had left off last night, we were had just started our third loop. This is kind of a looping game. You go through like three different areas and then it loops you back to the start. So that's where, whoa, oh my God. <laughs> Backrooms monster, what are you doing? <laughs> Welcome in rock hen, hello. <laughs> Wait, you were gonna plan a trip to Bright Falls for the two of us, but well, I don't want to meet my own Mr. Scratch. Yeah, that's probably a probably a good idea. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's okay. That is what they're there for. Well played. I was not expecting it. <laughs> Welcome in. Hope you're hope you're doing well today. Oh, let's see. Do I actually have? Oh, uh oh. Well, hello. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's reaction is fantastic. <laughs> Alright, let's get this crossbow out. Yeah! Well, that only took three shots. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I loved Alan's reaction to that. <laughs> that was fantastic. How, uh, let's see here. I just want to make sure. How's the audio for the game so far for y'all? I just want to make sure it's okay. If it's not loud enough or anything, let me know. I think, and actually, I think I wanted to boost up after, uh, watching the game. It looked like it was okay last night, but, um, can I boost the speech up slightly? Let's boost everything up just a, just a smidge. I have the music disabled for potential licensed DMCA type music concerns, so. What am I doing for Christmas? I have not thought that far ahead yet, <laughs> I'll be honest. I I try to take the holidays, like, kind of one at a time. So, like, I'm starting to gear up maybe for, like, Thanksgiving. Th this year's going to be... This year admit it is admittedly going to be a little bit rough. Um, you know, just Q, do the stuff that's, that's gone on for me. Untold deaths. So I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I haven't planned anything super special. The warm reception that has already been prepared I do like Christmas though. Oh, wait a minute. Match scene to manuscript page. The wheel was in place. The oil was flowing. The battery was attached. The lights were blinking. The CD was playing in the boom box. Okay. So this is like our third go round with this. Can I pick up any ammo? Nope. All right, so let's do the wheel first or the valve. Okay. And I gotta throw the battery in over here. I did, I did. I, uh, what did we have for dinner? <laughs> Today was kind of a lazy day. We stopped at, uh, we stopped over at Walmart and got some of the Walmart fried uh, the chicken chunks, you know, they put in a barbecue sauce. Eh, it's okay, but they're pretty decent. Thank you for the uh, the rose over on TikTok. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was a uh, wasn't a very healthy meal, but it was it was it was pretty good. <laughs> We've passed my favorite holiday season, so I'll eat the food I cook at Thanksgiving. I'm done for the year. Yeah, Thanksgiving is good for the food. It's good for the food. <laughs> but yeah, I did. Oh my goodness, Reese's. That sounds amazing. Those are my favorite. I didn't get it like for Halloween. I kept forgetting because like the day after Halloween is like, uh, you know, 50% off candy day. <laughs> and I forgot to, I forgot to pick, pick anything up. I did have some uh, Christmas-themed peanut M&Ms recently, though. 
Those were pretty good. It's been a minute since I had those. Yeah, oh man, Reese's is like my favorite. Yes, thank you for the share. <laughs> There's so many different Reese's that you can buy now though. It's kind of weird, like, I'm trying to think what are my favorites. Of all the ones that I, I've not had, they have ones now that have potato chips in them, which I know on the surface sounds pretty terrible, but there's just something interesting about it. Like potato chips inside of a Reese's cup. I don't know. I like Butterfingers too. The only issue I have with Butterfinger is they are very tough to eat. Like with your teeth, they get stuck in your teeth real easy. You see Reese's over Let's here? Stop. They're see delightful. You. Delightful. Yeah, I... I admittedly... Well, I technically should not be eating much in the way of sweets. Being diabetic. <laughs> it's kind of a bad thing for me. But every so often, I like to indulge. But I definitely don't have the same sweet tooth that I, I once did. There, yeah, Butterfingers can be messy too. They can. You're going to eat lots of meat and apples. <laughs> what a combo. I got to see if I can find a recipe. I remember I um was in French club in high school and every year for Mardi Gras. Oh dear, it's another chainsaw, dude. We, uh... We did like a Mardi Gras, uh, Mardi Gras potluck kind of thing. And the one year I had to cook, it was some sort of casserole dish that had, uh, it was like chicken, cheese, and like apples, which you would think it doesn't sound very good. It was like in, in, like in a sauce kind of thing. Actually pretty good though. Pretty tasty. I have not had it since. <laughs> I think I made that in like, I don't know, like my sophomore year of high school. Something like that. I thought you were going to talk about your wine chicken. That's pretty good too. We haven't had that in a very, very long time. It's kind of like, um, oh, I wouldn't say like chicken cordon bleu because it's not like chicken, ham and cheese. But it is like chicken wrapped around cheese, and then he put like wine on it and bake it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. But we haven't had that in a long time. Let's see, I don't want to do the sub submachine gun. Uh, what kind of wine is it, Mike? I can't remember. Isn't it like white Zinfandel or something? Uh oh. The Birdman. There we go. But Chicken Corn and Blue is pretty good, too. Haven't had that in a while. We used to get, you know, like that home delivery service, Schwann's. Anybody familiar with that? We used to get that, and they had, like, a Chicken Corn and Blue. I mean, it was pre-made. It wasn't the best you could have, but pretty, pretty decent. Just throw it in the oven and cook for a little bit. Here we are talking about food again. <laughs> it never fails at all. It's clear now. <laughs> Always talking about food. Let's see. We we got new radio things we can listen to from our friend Mr. He's not Pat well, Main in it. Well, he's sorry, Eddie in this. Eddie Rodman. You shouldn't. You know Eddie Rodman's got love for you. Which Eddie is Rodman. I hold myself out of bed before noon. Oh no! Don't apologize. It's just it's funny. <laughs> now, as I'm sure you all know, like I said, totally relatable. I enjoy talking about it. And I'm cool with talking about it because I'm full and I couldn't eat anything even if I wanted to right now. So <laughs> it doesn't bother me. <laughs> and that's one of my guests in studio, Serena Valdivia. She's a curator at the Night Springs Gallery of Visual Arts. Oh, she's Serena. The she's NSBA the one at the drive-in. It was acting all weird. Drive -in Hello, Eddie. It's great to be here. And let me just say that it's a wonderful venue. 
Hi, Eddie. And Wither is one of the filmmakers, <laughs> somebody who's actually primarily known as a renowned photographer, Alice Wake. Hello. Now, Alice, oh. I've seen a lot of your work. It's Alice. It's very impressive. Uh, my wife's a big fan, actually. Oh, thank you. You've uh, you've gained quite a bit of fame as a photographer. But so that's you're here, right? You actually have a film. That's a little surprising. For me, too. it does add to the story. If it weren't for Serena. Uh, you two are friends. Um, yeah. We here, I'll explain circle. in a so, moment. About a year ago, I heard about all Once this is done. Shot, and I got to see some of it. And then I started pestering her about actually putting it out there because it was really good. But it is kind of like a standalone, really though. It. it felt too personal. To be honest. Well, yes, I can understand that. It, uh, it features your husband, and he's, um, uh, well... He's... he's dead. Uh, oh. I, I thought he was missing. It's been two years. I... this sounds awful. Alice, no! I believe he's dead. Otherwise, he would have... well, you know. Yeah. I understand. Oh. Well, hold that thought, and uh, we'll be right back. Wow, Alice. Wait, way to bring the room down. So, this, it's a standalone where it takes place in the events of a Night Springs episode, which Alan was a writer for. So, I mean, obviously we see characters that were in the original. Um, Mr. Scratch, I think, plays... A bigger role. I don't really know much, and I've been trying to avoid spoilers for Alan Wake 2, but the little bits and pieces that I've gotten here and there, I think he may play a role. I don't know how exactly, obviously. But I think that's why I wanted to play this, because I feel like it's gonna matter later, if that makes sense. Um But the way that I kind of view it is it's kind of Alan. So he's still trapped in the dark place from the first game. And this is, I, I think, one of the instances where he's trying to work himself out of it. Because the DLCs for the original game, he was trying to escape. And at the end of the first one, I think he... It looked like he made it out, but then he was, like, crumpled on the floor and kind of just out of it, like, stuck. And then in the second one, we thought, you know, maybe he'd gotten out of it again and... But we found out he's still trapped. So he's still trying to get out of the dark place with this. And you got Something Mr. Scratch here. Barry. I don't know what to do about him yet. You know, just taunting I mean, him. From, I'm not going to keep him around, that's for sure. From the shadows. Al. 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 Little parasite. Oh. Your best friend. Really. Barry's That's the, the best. best. You can do. Hush, Mr. Scratch. Hmm. I actually kind of like the guy. He's a plucky little butterball. <laughs> he plays the clown. That's a hard road to take. <laughs> but I don't need him sticking his fat face in my Rude. business. Rude, Mr. Scratch. <sighs> Not cool. Did you know he's been hanging out with the sheriff? Yeah, Barry's awesome. In that shitty little town. He's a very loyal like friend. Touch. Barry's about the only guy who insists that you're not dead. He, he's a bit much at times, that. but he's a cool guy. I like him. He's fluffy and precious. I know. That jacket. <sighs> Got to protect him in his fashion sense. I might keep my protect him at all costs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just to see him go to pieces when I fire his ass. Oh <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. No. Don't do it. Yeah. No. <laughs> wow. Okay, what are we gonna do when we go back to Emma? Um which I think she's right over here. Emma, are you okay? We've been yeah, through three loops of this. Thanks for saving me again. I'd hate to die before I'm scheduled to be murdered. I guess I have you to thank for setting everything up at the oil derrick. Yeah, well, I figured that if we were going to go over this again, we might as well try to be smart about it. See, huh? it's weird that she I remembers it. each loop. You took a big chance doing that. You That's okay? what I don't get with this. What do you think? I've died twice. I remember everything pretty clearly now. You said I was going to be okay. 
I don't know what happened. Oh, it's not your fault. I think one of those, what did you call them? The, the takers? The takers. I think they did something to the power and they got me that way. I'm sorry. But I got the keys from the dead guy in that room. And I'm not handing them over until you do something about this. I'm sick of getting killed. Yeah. Uh, well, you seem calmer now. You seem calmer now. I tried freaking out. Didn't do much good for me. I guess you get used to the craziest stuff. Good for you. Plus, I figured I'd take the edge off, you know? Mm-hmm. Those herbal <laughs> supplements are pretty mm -hmm. good, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right, right. I wanted to explain, but... I wanted to try to explain things to you now since you're calmer, but maybe this isn't the best time after all. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but not get all metaphysical on me now. Seriously, I'm like two sentences away from thinking how we could all be like atoms on God's skin or something. Oh, wow. Or figments of somebody's imagination. <laughs> um, oh, don't yeah, give her any ideas, uh, Alan. I'm just going to try to chill out and not think about that or, or getting murdered or anything, if you're cool with that. Gotcha. See, I actually read a theory, and I don't know how true it is, that Alan, that we play as in this game, because we're in kind of like the construct of a Night Springs episode, that maybe we aren't actually Alan. So, I... It, we very well might not be. We don't know. Yeah, we're all Fig Newtons of people's imaginations. <laughs> Let's see, where's this fuse box I gotta secure? Let's go over here and refill our ammo. Just for funsies. And the fuse box has got to be... Oh, wait a minute. Right around here somewhere. I think. Is it in here? No. Uh-oh. Oh, I see where it's at. Wow, there's like a bunch of dudes! See, it's not like in the first one where you could, like, kind of get rid of some of them with the, the flashbang. I feel like they nerfed it a bit compared to the first game. But the combat in general is much better, I feel like. Even though I think it came out, like, a year after the first game. I think it's set in 2011, and the original Alan Wake, I think, was 2010. All right, Claire, we're back, Emma. I really don't think they can get to the power now. Thank you. That's a relief. Um, here's the keys that you needed. Thank you. Hey, I have to tell you, at the diner, I, I went there with him. The guy who looks like you, okay? I know I said that I didn't. Aw, yeah, why? Want to talk? About what happened at the diner? Want to talk about what happened at the diner? There was this guy from the observatory, and he just attacked the poor dude, smashed his face into the tabletop. Well, that's when we were in Las Vegas, horrible. but I thought that was August. I, didn't, I didn't we go in August? He was gonna do that. I swear. I thought it was August. And I just ran. I just left him there. I didn't even try to help. There was nothing you could have done. It's not your fault. Well. He's dead in that motel room now, so excuse me if I feel pretty shitty about it anyway. Oh. Well, you shouldn't blame yourself. You shouldn't blame yourself. I just didn't want to get involved. I have this tendency to just drop everything and run. I don't think I'm a bad person, but I... I didn't even call the cops. I'm such a coward. If you'd called the cops, we'd have dead cops. Hmm. He's not human. Do you understand? He's not human. But I could have tried to stop him. Believe me, if you had, you'd be dead. Oh, really? Wow, time's weird. I don't remember the exact dates, but... Yeah, we actually had an earthquake then that we could feel like... I'm nowhere near where you would normally feel an earthquake. And there was, yeah, in 2011, I think we had one. Alan's, like, confused. You seem to be doing better. You seem to be doing a little better now. Yeah, I guess it just got easier once I got this thing off my chest. 
I just feel so guilty about it, especially because I didn't pick up on any of the warning signs. I just really liked hanging out with him, you know? He was smart and charming and funny and hot. The way <laughs> you could be, I guess. I guess. <laughs> wow. What do you know with this guy anyway? He looks like you, he uses your name. Why does he do this stuff? I'm not sure myself. Maybe he's just evil. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, half. you're you're used to them a lot of the stuff I'm trying in to California really for from. sure. Things that just messed up my life. I guess I know, murders rude. don't help either. Yeah, I could do without the murders in the end of the world. Yeah, you're kind of cool, Alan. But this other guy, he looks just like you. Yeah, he's like the cooler you. You know, uh, <laughs> I need to get going. Listen, I need to get going. Yeah, go. I think I'm good now. I hope. Good luck. I if thought it was well, August. I wasn't crazy. Yay. God, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Just keep those lights on, okay? Let's see. Well, actually, didn't we go to Vegas in, in 2011? Wasn't it like my birthday? So it would have been April. The year prior, because we went two years in a row. The first year, I think we went out in like August. And then we went out the following April for my birthday. Explore the motel rooms. Ha! Oh, kick it. <laughs> oh, Alan. Isn't this the one hotel room? I guess not. Yeah, one year in the bur my birthday and another year in the middle of August. Yeah, never, <laughs> never go to Las Vegas in, uh, in August. <laughs> It was like 110 degrees. And uh, we stayed at the Luxor. Which is basically on one end of the strip. And uh, Mike and I thought, well, we could walk. It's not a problem. You don't actually realize how spread out that is. <laughs> because all the buildings are huge. And it gives you, like, this false sense of perspective on how close things are. It's like a six-mile walk, I think in like a hundred degree heat yeah it, that that was rough <laughs> it was rough <laughs> we're like we're gonna walk from luxor no we walked all the way down to like venetian which is almost down on the far end it's crazy <laughs> and admittedly neither one of us were like I mean, I was working retail at the time, so I was on my feet a lot all day for work. So I'm thankful at least for that because, oh boy, I probably would have had a rough time. <laughs> I mean, it was a fun experience, but man, if I, if I would go back, I don't think I would go in the summer. I would go like during winter time. <laughs> Says, who? Yeah, and well, and they always tell you, well, you know, out west, it's like a dry heat. It's not like when you have to deal with humidity. Yeah, it's it's still, <laughs> it's still really hot. But yeah, definitely. If you're gonna go, that's my advice. If you ever go to Vegas, make sure you have bottles of water with you when you walk. If you're going to walk a lot of places. <laughs> Especially during the summer. Because you will need it. But I mean, I guess on the one hand, it's good because you can go to like... They have like a million stores. You know, like even like CVSs and stuff that you can go to that... If you need to buy like a bottle of water, you can do it. They do have these people that like will sell bottles of water on the street. And I wasn't like... Wasn't super trusting of just some random person trying to sell me bottled water. So I'm like, yeah, let's let's go to like CVS or something. <laughs> Which was probably for for the best. <laughs> but yeah, you really you cannot grasp of how big that city is. Balance, threatened until you actually get there, it's crazy. The of darkness. And yet, for a moment, Those buildings are massive. The champion of light breathes a little easier. He has saved one life. For this moment, it is enough. Wait, did we save Emma? And soon, perhaps, he can put an end to this. I think we saved Emma. Nice. Yeah, Vegas is like... 
one of my favorite places. We actually, like, for a while... I don't know if I seriously considered, but moving out that way. But it just, it never worked out. The observatory for what but I would totally live the out there. Time, the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. Yeah. I don't know that I could do all the walking and stuff now. Which is a bummer. But who knows? Maybe one day. Let's see. California, I've never been to California. Like I've already taken care of the imaging array, but oh. you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area before these things even show up. Oh, cool. Well, I guess technically I've been to California, well, through airport. So I don't know if that counts. Whoa! Master Gara! Oh, fancy! Welcome back, and thank you for that resub. Welcome back for 38 months! Oh, fancy. <laughs> thank you. How have you been? Welcome in. Welcome into our lore run of Alan Wake. Part two of Alan Wake's American Nightmare this evening. And if we have enough time, we'll probably start control tonight. I can wait. Ammo? I don't want to switch. <laughs> I don't want to switch. Man. Oh. Never mind. Thanks for tuning in for the second part of our interview with Serena Valdivia and award-winning photographer Alice Wake. Where do we have a layover? Was it San Francisco? Alan Wake. It was like a two-hour window. We didn't leave the airport, so I don't know if that counts. A little bit. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times. Yeah, we're going to play Control in the DLCs times. before we really start Alan Wake 2. I don't mind being reminded of him. So you're, uh, you're over him? For the complete lore experience. I don't know if I'll ever be that entirely. I still think about him every day. Literally. I still find myself hoping for... Well, sometimes I think I see him just standing somewhere watching me. I think most people who lose someone they love experience things like that. Mike, what are you talking about? But on the whole, I'm doing all right. Two years is a long time to adjust. What are you talking about? I'm not really the type to wallow in the negative. Well, I know there are a lot of stories about Wow, bringing up Puddle of Mud, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, that's not really what our show is about, though. Look, all that stuff really gets blown out of proportion. He had his problems, but... It's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy Why stories, is Alan's shirt waving in the wind like there's like a wind well, machine in front of him? Casey is a household name. <laughs> the books still continue to sell. There's been talk of a TV series, a movie, a video game. Must be nice to know that his <laughs> wind is open. By so many readers. Yes, of course. But I Very good point. It could be. Side. Could be. To Alan's agent. Uh, that would be Barry Wheeler. <laughs> Actually, I just interviewed him. Uh, he's currently in the music business. Barry mm -hmm. Wheeler. And he's also Alan's best friend. Uh, do you two keep in touch? Or? We talk regularly. Like I said, he handles the business side. Mm -hmm. I think we should talk about her film. Yes, yes, of course. You're right. I'm Eddie Ross. I don't know why Alice, Alice doesn't like Barry. Valdivia, and we'll be right back. I don't know that they ever explain why. Because there's been several references that Alice just does not like Barry. All right, we gotta compare, secure the primary pipes. Oh. Yes. Climb over. Ooh. Got him. Uh, she blames Barry for what happened to Alan. Well, so, like, Barry knew Alan, though, growing up. So, unless he had issues when he was younger. I don't know. Whoa. Alright, we done here. Yo, 
get some more ammo. Alright, where is this first place we need to secure? Right here? Yeah. That's what's kind of cool about this is even though you repeat and go to the same areas, you do slightly different things each go around. So it kind of keeps it fresh. Whoa, thank you for the follow over on TikTok. Amir, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well this evening. We are doing a lore playthrough of everything Alan Wake in preparation for my very first playthrough of uh, Alan Wake 2. We finished up uh, Control, not Control. We're going to be playing Control after this. We finished up the uh, Alan Wake Remastered last week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Dude, ouch. this whole playthrough. <laughs> Spoiler for Alan Wake 2. It's a game. Oh no. Oh no. Am I playing GTA? Nah. Al Alan Wake's American Nightmare. <laughs> Although there is some uh, GTA news. They're going to be showing off a uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer I think next month. And that's from Rockstar, so it's official. The last Grand Theft Auto I really played... Well, I played a little bit of 5 when it first came out. But, um... Never really played very much. Other than that, I probably should get caught up. I mean, how long has uh, GTA 5 been out? It's been like a decade or something. I've seen this trend on uh, social media. Everybody's been posting the... Here's a picture of me whenever GTA 5 came out, and then here's me now. <laughs> kind of that thing. Do I have Fortnite? So, I, uh... I played a little bit of Fortnite back when it first launched into uh, the Battle Royale mode. Wasn't super great at it. <laughs> so, I haven't played in a very long time. But I did consider, because they put, uh, you know, an Alan Wake map in, I had considered uh, playing that. And I know they brought the very first map back, too, so... That was remotely interesting. I, um... Uh, I'm not, like, a huge competitive gamer. I know, I know. <laughs> GTA 6, who wants... Who wants to bet we can milk it for 20 years? I mean, I guess if it's good, they could, right? I don't know. Yeah, I know. Fortnite. Th that trend missed me, unfortunately. Yeah, they brought back Chapter 1. I saw. I haven't, you know, installed or booted up yet. but Let's go, Fortnite streams. I don't know that anyone would want to watch me play Fortnite, I'll be honest. Because, you know, like I said, not real great at those competitive shooters. But, you know, never say never. Who knows? Uh-oh. These guys. Nope. They split off into two. Woo! Man, stop splitting off into multiple enemies. Stop it. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go Fortnite streams. I can play it with keyboard and mouse because I know. Yeah, that's that's totally not my comfort zone. Definitely not. Oh, you did you play the um the PVE Fortnite? 
Like, I was interested in trying that. I'm kind of bummed that they never really, you know, put more time into it. I get it. You know, like, the Battle Royale was a lot more, you know, popular and... It's kind of a bummer, though. It'd be nice if they, you know, still made that map and such. Yeah, save the world. I, uh... That was on, like, a wish list for a while, and then whenever the Battle Royale came out, I started playing it a little bit, and then I... <laughs> played a little bit and then never went back. <laughs> what am I doing here? Kaboom! Will she let me in? Come on in. Ah! Okay. Let's see. Oh, do we get another Mr. Scratch uh, video here? Uh oh. He's watching. This is what you look like. Does that bother you? I bet it does. He's so creepy. I'm not just wearing your face, you know. It goes a lot deeper than that. There's a lot of you and me. All the best parts. <laughs> and Alan's like, what? At first... What are you talking about? It was just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then, the stories about bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. Crazy That's Alan Wake. Part, isn't it? You're so crazy. Happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. <sighs> and yet, we're stuck in Cauldron Lake I'm somewhere. I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. No fears. No doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. He's like the quote-unquote famous Alan Wake. Sort of. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way Thank into you for life. the likes over on TikTok as well. I appreciate I it. it. Welcome, because... welcome. I'm better at being you than you ever were. Hmm. Y you done there, Mr. Scratch? Okay. Cool talk. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can loot anything. Talk to Dr. Meadows. Uh oh. We need to protect the telescope or we can't complete the signal. Kaboom. Ah, whoa, what hit me? All right. More coming? Oh, there's one that's throwing grenades. That's what's happening. I got it. Thank you. Whoa, hi! Uh oh, reload! Oh, shoot. I didn't realize I was at. How did I get out of ammo? All right, let's go see if I can get some. Get some ammo up here. You're kind of irritated at threads because all of a sudden all they are <laughs> posts about Taylor Swift. Did you happen to like interact with one post that mentioned Taylor Swift? what happens and then the same thing happens like on twitter now if you happen to just like a post that mentions someone 
for like five seconds is on the screen, the algorithm thinks you're like interested. And <laughs> it's just like everything is suddenly oh, Taylor Swift. But I wish these things would stop blatantly violating the laws of physics in my observatory. You went in and blocked and beat everything. Are you all right? <laughs> I'll live. I'm glad. I'll send the lift down to you. I remember our previous encounters very clearly now, but technically, if this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. I hmm. don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. Good point, Doctor. Oh, oh no, Sphere. That's that's a rough. <laughs> Come to think of it, I have not seen anything regarding that individual in a while, and I couldn't be more glad that I did. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. I don't know. Nothing, not, no, hate, no hate towards, like, Taylor Swift or anything. I just, like... The, the, uh, the constant fervor over, like, her relationship or relationships, whoever may, would maybe with, it's crazy to me. Just, just let her... Doctor? Let her do you her know, thing, I right? physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. <laughs> Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. Right. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but... The signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally. Hmm. Let's see here. Um, this should be the last time we do this. If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the loop. You know, I just realized that I don't have any memory of what happens after you leave. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything. If everything goes well, you just keep going. I don't show up here like this again. No more bad guys. Things go back to normal. Let's hope you're right. I'd love the opportunity to look into this in more detail. Okay. It's like you've accepted the situation. I'm a pragmatist. If this is a delusion, at least my first psychotic episode is anything but boring. Really, Mr. Wake, at the end of the day, I'm a scientist. I love mysteries. I love not knowing. Whatever else this might be, it's absolutely fascinating. I wonder how far this reaches. Is everybody <laughs> in the world experiencing this? Who knows? I gotta come I up with some new ideas for some channel point right redemptions. That, make, that made me, uh... That made me think about it. I can't ever think of anything that's like fun or you know super original i don't know i've been putting so much time into the like youtube and now tiktok stuff it's like <laughs> brain power you're enthusiastic about this doctor i can see you're very enthusiastic about this i'd appreciate a bit of discretion are you suggesting that we should suppress this no you can do what you like but i want you to leave me out of it Surely, with the things you know, the things you've experienced, you can replicate any of these results. We could... Let me be blunt. If you drag me into this, I'll deny everything. I'll lie like my life depended on it. <laughs> Here it is, best one. are damn good liars. Word the stick advice. bug. This is things man was not meant to know, Territory. You get into this, chances are you'll open up a door into a world of hurt. Believe me, I know. I see. A world of hurt, huh? Yeah, I don't have a hydrate one, and I always keep forgetting about it. I guess she's done talking to me. So, uh, let's go get this print off, shall we? In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words, and when the time comes, they will be enough, or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. The final countdown! Back to the drive-in for the final con confrontation. Once more, we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences, I did have a hydrate one for a while. Pierce time itself. But the sound that was attached to it apparently the was distressing to some, so I took it off. Perhaps more. Because it was the sound the of like sipping. Is not among them. And I had received a few uh, some feedback about it and that's why I got rid of it. So, I mean, I guess I could maybe put something up and not 
add a sound to it. I mean, I can totally understand how that would be annoying, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to find the time to compile stuff and make stuff with transparent backgrounds to add into like the channel point thing that I use. Very time consuming. Yeah, I could. Yeah, or something about hydrate or whatever. Yeah. I'll see if I can work on some things. If anybody has any ideas of some cool stuff they'd like to see, if you're in Discord, throw some stuff in the, the old suggestion box and I'll see what I can do. That also helps me remember, too. Because, like, I'll think, oh, that's a good oh, idea, and then I don't do it intentionally. Like, I just forget. Ellen! Woo! Dip, dab, dodge. Sir, I thought a neat idea at the time would be to have me sing pop-up songs about alerts. I didn't say that I didn't like the idea. It was just a matter of that we had to figure out how to do the recordings and I'd have to edit and make stuff and then did yeah. <laughs> I never said that I thought you'd scare people away. Don't fib. <laughs> Do not fib. All right, restore power. Okay, I can't go out there yet. Hey, at least there's no spiders this time. That's always a that's always a plus. Ah. Uh... Oh, wait, do these big... Oh, jeez. There's so many of them. Oh my God. Get him. All right. Did we get them all? I swear there was like a group of 20 dudes. Oh, no worries, Rockin. We will be here. <laughs> Wait, do I still hear footsteps running around? No, oh, maybe not. Head toward the light. Oh, I can't. Okay. I am almost out of submachine gun ammo, though. That's not good. So this round, I think, is going to throw all kinds of enemies at me. Alright, so question is, is the puzzle different than it was the last two times? It very well could be. So the first round, it was the left and the right. The second round, it was just the middle. So it's not that. Let's see... Okay. We did it.
Oh, wow. How do I get around here? I think they changed how I can... Run, Ellen! I was gonna say, there is no way... ...that it was that easy. Uh-oh. Cool. Uh-oh. See here, we can do this. Run, Alan! We're gonna have to fight Mr. Scratch, I think. Uh oh. There went our, our save points. You're never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry. I'll take care of your wife and your life. Hmm. What? Oh, there's two of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna hit him with three of these, I think. One more. All right. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was gonna be. Hopefully I can pick up some ammo though. the crossbow so I'm gonna hold on to the crossbow uh oh I don't know what you think you're doing but I'll send you right back to the beginning don't send me back to the beginning again Alan. What? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This will end up just like before. Don't test me, Mr. Scratch. Is he gonna be on TV this time? I've been around for a while now, you know? Well, you've been... Indisposed, stuck in the darkness. I've been busy. Oh, uh oh. I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken. Uh, I best work in the dark. I hear more bad guys. And there's so much darkness out there that goes deep, and the things that live in it are vast. Big bastards! Uh, they don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room? Oh boy. All that chaos and madness. Can't believe they were so rude to interrupt me watching television. Like How dare they? Pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here? Yeah. You can really make an impact. It's not an ocean. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. <laughs> I know. But first, can't pull up a chair, I sadly. Take care of you. 
you party pooper. Oh. That's not very nice, You're Mr. Stuck Scratch. In eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Everything else? Do my thing. Get a bit of quality time with Alice. Ah. That's a little something for me. Ew. And I deserve it. Ew. Well. That was something. Destroy the dark fountains. Okay. Alright, so I remember doing this before. Uh oh. Uh-oh, big guy behind me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Whew! Alright. Where's this other dark fountain at? Oh, right behind me! Yeah! Okay. Ouch. What? No! Wow, I think that's the first time I've died. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. These guys aren't playing. I don't know if these these dudes like respawn over and over again or not. They might. <laughs> Run, Alan. Tea tea would also be good. Yes, agreed. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a huge beer fan myself. All right. We got one more. Oh boy, and these guys aren't stopping. Woo! Yeah, I don't really, I don't either. It's it's been a while. It's been a while. Hey, Zaft, welcome in. I actually have some root beer. That's what I got next to me, is uh, some a and root beer. Enter the projector building. Let's see. Let's stock up on ammo first. Because I don't remember what I gotta do. Roaring <laughs> Death... He's he's been adjusting to some new stuff and it's I think yeah, I think he's been getting some nightmares. It's some screaming during sleep. <laughs> Which when you're trying to sleep yourself is a bit startling. <laughs> Again, the champion of light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. Sometimes, All he needs yes. To do is change <laughs> the details of the scene. No, no. The breaking point and the rest it's like uh, like a night terror kind place. of thing it's pretty pretty scary let's see it was late at night the summer was almost over there was a film noir poster visible a spotlight illuminated the red fire extinguisher 
and Alice's film was in the projector. All right, so we got to do change the time to the morning. Change the calendar to August. Flip the poster. Turn the lamp. And then I think the last thing is make sure Alice's film is in the projector. Which is it here? Um, Alice's film. Do I need to find the film reel somewhere? What did it say? It said use briefly. Oh. The video game. Nice. Yeah, I wish we had an AOW place near us. This is um stuff brought, you know, like from the grocery store. But yeah, that's that sounds that sounds lovely. I think in order to get, like, an A&W, I'd have to drive, like, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I mean, I'm sure it's tasty, but I don't know if it's really that tasty. <laughs> Did we do it? Uh... I, th I think we did it. Everything's fading. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... What? What is this? Uh-oh. No. No! Done in by the light. See you later, Mr. Scratch. Oh, the flannel. Alan? Is it... Is it really you? Alice? It's really me. How? Happy ending? We'll scratch that up to experience. Oh. <laughs> oh, her hair got long, much, much longer than it was in the original. events or merely a dream a memory or a glimpse of what is to come one thing is that <laughs> she turned into a vampire this scene takes place in another time and another place far far away in night, night springs. springs oh well Kind of like, well, did we do it or, or nah? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't think we did. Let me do this and I will put some, we'll put some music on. So that's not silent. But that was Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Yeah, and yeah, Control Control will be coming up next. We will start Control this evening. I don't know how far in we'll get, but uh, 
we'll we'll, we'll give it we'll give it a shot this evening because we've only been live for like an hour and a half but we'll watch the credits roll here and see what see if we get i don't know if there's an after credit scene in this or not i can't remember i don't think there is I had all the music muted for this, so... Does anyone know, and I can't remember what setting when I played Control on stream before. I don't... I, I would assume that I had all the copywritten mu music muted. There are specific tracks, though, that I really don't want them to mute, but if I have to, I got to. As long as the ashtray maze is intact, I'll be happy. I mean, what are we talking about? Bacon? <laughs> bacon or no bacon? Is there any question? I mean, it has to be good bacon, though. Not all bacon is good. Sometimes Baconators are okay from Wendy's. If, if the bacon is crispy. If it's not crispy, it's bleh. Playing some Mario Kart? Did, is it, did it come out with a new Mario Kart? Or am I thinking of something else? I know there's a new Mario game. It's Super Mario Wonder, right? Something like that. There is some good music in this game. But we had to mute it. <laughs> oh, new Mario Kart tracks. I see. I get you. It's at Mario Kart 8, right? They added like... They've been adding to that for, for years. Speaking of new stuff, did you see that they announced a new Steam Deck already? supposed to come out on November 16th, I think. It has a uh, OLED screen on it. It's supposed to be faster download speeds and some other improvements. I still am not super sold on it because I don't do a lot of like handheld gaming myself, so I'm not like super excited, but it's cool that it's coming, I guess. See, I warned, I told you, because you're like, oh, they're not going to come out with a new one. I'm like, yeah, they probably will. <laughs> That's the way technology works. Uh, Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars remake. I never played Super Mario RPG, but um, that would probably be pretty cool since I'm not real big into platformers. I mean, I... My first game, video game, I think I ever played was Super Mario Brothers slash Duck Hunt with my original Nintendo. So I, I do have nostalgia and some love for it, even though I was terrible at it. But historically, I'm not very good with platformer games in general. I struggle you know what? I don't know. I, I think I rented Mario 3 back in the day, but I never owned it. I had the original, but I never had 2 or 3. Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. No. Barry! Ow. Barry! You okay there, dude? Well, that was Alan Wake's American Nightmare, y'all. And I will be back momentarily with the start of Control. Be right back!